Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys ever so much for the support on yesterday's video. We did amazing on that video. But in today's video, as we all know, we have the UMP45 added back into the game. Uh, the gun from Modern Warfare 2, if you are not familiar with it. And I've decided to make a best class setup video on this uh, weapon. At first, I didn't think it was very good. But once you start ranking this thing up and unlocking some attachments, believe me, it is insane. As we can see, I've got the Undertaker weapon variant. And that's where this class setup stemmed from. I do believe it is a level, well, tier 100 variant for the UMP45. But you'll be able to unlock these attachments uh, anyway through game before you even reach that level if you, or whatever. But anyway, hopping straight into it, we have the lightweight suppressor. Obviously, we all know suppressor, sound suppression, keep you off the map, and plus it's iconic to the UMP45. If you play Modern Warfare 2, there was only one attachment you was putting on a UMP, and that was suppressor. Silencer, as it was called back then, same thing. We've got the 5 MW laser just for him hip fire accuracy and sprint to fire speed, which is huge, especially on maps like Rust. We've got the GI mini reflex. The iron sight for this gun isn't that bad, but I'm just not personally a fan. And um, if we're going a bit more nostalgic, I would probably have no uh, like reflex sight, just the standard iron sights, as no one ever rocked a some kind of optic on the UMP back in the day. Rear grip, we've got the FTAC 6D. Recoil control, make sure you can hit your shots, but to be fair, I'll probably swap that out for this actually. I'm gonna swap that out right now. This is what you want, aim down, aim down side speed and sprint to fire speed, huge in this game, absolutely huge. And the underbarrel is commando foregrip, as we all know, recoil, sta sta recoil stabilization, stabilization, <laughs> aiming stability, two massive things, especially at range, it's gonna help you out massively. But we're not going to dwell too much on the class at all. They're the perks I'm rocking uh, just because it's Rust and I feel like they're the best perks for Rust in my opinion. Uh, especially trying to get some streaks in. Semtex Stim as always. And we also have the Magnum with the snake shot as I'm trying to unlock the Akimbo Magnums. So you do see me get a couple of kills with the Magnum at the start of this gameplay that you're about to see. So if you're wondering why I'm using the Magnum it's meant to be UMP showcase type thing then you're gonna wonder why then i do pull out the ump and i go on a mad streak honestly i hope you guys really do enjoy this but anyway let's hop straight into the gameplay okay rusty is back baby let's just hop straight into this I'm gonna use the magnum real quick but i'm gonna use the ump because it's a beast i just want to get free kills with the magnum i'm just trying to unlock wow i'm just gonna get beamed i'm just trying to unlock the akimbos for the magnum i feel like it's gonna be a beast akimbo magnums in the snake shop perk honestly i feel like it's going to be absolutely insane like i mean i just really want to try it out but i think you can actually purchase the akimbo perk i'm not entirely sure what the hell how did that kid not die it was point blank to his head pretty much the snake shot he didn't die jesus and there's some guy up top come on give me a break but all my days the akimbo magnum is going to be insane but this ump oh i don't even know what it's called in this game looks very similar to the ump so that's why people are calling it the ump if you don't know what the ump is it's an smg off of modern warfare 2 literally the best gun in that game in turn well there's lots of arguable best guns in that game pretty much every single gun in that game was insane some people say it's the best call of duty and i probably agree with them but i just love black ops 2 too much if i'm being perfectly honest um i'm gonna rank that before I'm going to rank Black Ops 2 first, then Modern Warfare 2. But the UMP in that game was literally the only gun I ever used alongside of the Intervention. Um, obviously, Intervention, another iconic, iconic sniper. I would love to see that added back into this game. Um, whether it is or not, I wish they added the guns back in, similar to how they did it in um, Infinite Warfare, where they still have the same name. So it's like, pretty much an exact copy. Like... When people were talking about the UMP being added back into this game before we saw the release of Season 2, uh, I genuinely thought it was going to be uh, a direct like copy, but it wasn't a direct copy, which was unfortunate. I'm also struggling to hear what's going off right now. I might even play on my headset. Literally been playing that long. It's absolutely killing my ears. So I'm just rolling with it anyway. You don't really need sound in this on Rust anyway. I don't need sound. But we're rolling with it. We're rolling with it two guys here this ump man honestly let's start let's whip this out for a little while i mean it's a beast honestly let's pick up two kids real quick we're on a five kill streak look at that kid's gonna get beamed let's go only thing i don't unlock yet haven't got unlocked which i hope there is an extended mag we've got a vtol as well let's go 
uh, because 25 bullets in this thing um, just isn't enough, especially in Rust. I've not played any other map apart from Rust since season two, so I'm not sure how it's going to fare on other maps. Uh, probably 25. Oh Jesus, 25 bullets would probably be enough on maps like Hackney Yard, maybe. But I feel like if you can opt for extended mags, then why not? More bullets in your clip. It's going to work out. It's going to help in the long run. So I would always, always say extended mags. We've only got 12 bullets left, which isn't worrying. I've got. I could pick this kid. Got some ammo. VTOL doesn't seem to be doing too much right now. This kid up top there. VTOL gets a kill. Oh, Jesus. Just avoiding death there from that kid. Wow. That was super close. That kid's going to get beamed. Run a merciless. Jesus. Where does this streak come from? No idea. The guy over here, though. Let's go. We've got the advanced. I'm going to call this in. Hopefully, we start being a bit more aggressive. They're all coming from here. Jesus Christ. We've got seven bullets. Can I have to use the Magnum? It's the only thing I can do. I'm gonna die of the Magnum, I can feel it. They're all around me. I'm gonna kill that kid. Oh my days, no. Oh, for God's sake. Worst thing ever, why did that kid have to come through there? I was literally, I'd literally escaped and there's just some kid just looking at me, crouching in the little, I don't even know. I don't even know what that is. What to call that area of the map that I just went through again. Kid head glitching here, no. Teammate's gonna pick him up then. Oh my days, I've been sn I was going to say sniped, but I've been shotgunned. Even worse. I'm going to kill that. Oh my days. This is not good. We're winning though, nonetheless. I mean, that was such a good streak gone to waste. But honestly, you need to try out this UMP class setup. I'm going to make a video on it. But this is probably what you're watching right now. Uh, so you've seen the class setup. Try it for yourself. Honestly, it is a beast. Uh, at first, the UMP, I didn't think much of it. But now I've got these attachments on it. Honestly, it is unreal. An absolute machine. Kills so quick as well. Especially with these attachments. I don't know what it is. Because I don't think any of them increase damage. But it just seems to go oh my days. I mean, look at the hit fire accuracy. I was hit firing that kid whilst we... I, I was going to say I was hit firing while reloading. But that's not even possible. How the hell can you reload, uh, reload and hit fire at the same time? You can't even do that. Oh my days. That kid's going to get absolutely destroyed. We're at a five kill streak. Oh, for God's sake. I hate it when people are crouched like that. It just throws me off. It's so bad. They're all, right, all around to this side. Oh, my team's here as well, though. Oh, for God's sake. I tried to stay away from the top of Rust as well. Because I feel like it's just... To get there, you can just die so many times. Kill that kid. That's a teammate. Let's go. They're on the hard point right now, so I'm going to try and take them off it. Hopefully, I don't see me coming through the tunnel. Use the Magnum close range. There's two. This one's still on it. There we go. Nice little triple kill on the hill. That is nice. I'll be honest. This kid's lucky he didn't kill me there. Didn't look my way. Really should have done. There's a shot. There's a nade. And <laughs> so there's a shotgun. What? Oh, there's a shotgun right there, though. Wow. Kill that kid. This kid's gonna, this kid's gonna die. He's got an RPG. Where's he gone? You're dead, my friend. Just reload this thing real quick. There's a guy over down here. Oh my days! What? Do you, what even was that? M4A1. The M4A1 in this game is still such a dominant weapon. It kills so so quick. It is super annoying. I've only recently started getting into using the M4A1. In fact, I have an insane gameplay with the M4A1 coming up. It's a 47 gun streak. Um, before it was before season two, I've been meaning to post it for a while now. Just not got around to it. But the issues I did have, if you don't know what the issues are, then make sure you do check out my last video uh, explaining basically what went off. Or head over to my Instagram, I explain on there as well. Because I had a nightmare, but we're back now, so it's all good. Killed this kid, I think there's a guy at the top as well. Just one guy to these pipes, and there's a guy right at the top of the, the map. This guy up there, they gas the end of the game. Wow, 36 kills would have liked more, but it's what it is. Okay, guys, we're back in the lobby right now. Honestly, the UMP is such an insane weapon. Make sure you do try this class setup for yourself and let me know what you think. Or if you have some alterations, what you prefer using on it, then let me know. Let me know down in the comments below as well. I'd love to know what you guys love running on your your your. I'd love to know what you guys are running on your UMP, uh, so let me know down below. 
not. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys ever so much for watching. If you do want to see more daily Call of Duty content just like this one, make sure you do go down below and smash that subscribe button and the like is always appreciated as well. I'll catch you guys in the next one.